I wrote a program to demonstrate the so-called Monty Hall Dilemma. In the Monty Hall Dilemma, there are three closed doors. Door number one, door number two, and door number three. Behind one of the doors is a desirable prize, such as a car. Behind the other two doors are undesirable prizes, such as a goat. Monty asks the contestant to pick the door that they believe hides the desirable prize. After the contestant selects a door, Monty reveals one of the two doors the contestant did not select. Monty always picks a door that hides a goat. This is possible because Monty either has one or both goats. Monty then asks the contestant if they want to switch doors. After the contestant switches or doesn't switch doors, the prize is revealed. Because there are only two unopened doors, it might intuitively seem that there's a 50-50 chance that switching is the right move. Let's run the simulation and observe the results. As you can see, when the contestant does not switch, they only win one-third of the time, and when they do switch, they win two-thirds of the time. Switching after a goat is revealed is not a 50-50 proposition. It's a two-thirds proposition. But why? It turns out that revealing a goat does nothing to alter the odds of Monty's side of the bet. Initially, Monty had a two-thirds chance of holding the car, and the contestant had a one-third chance of holding the car. Revealing a goat provides no new information to the contestant because everyone already knew that Monty had at least one. Switching doors after a goat is revealed is the same as taking Monty's initial two-thirds chance of having the car. If the game were changed and Monty was forced to open one of his doors randomly, there would be a one-third chance of Monty revealing the car, game over. There would be a two-thirds chance of Monty revealing goat, making switching doors a 50-50 proposition. It's the fact that Monty knows where the goats are that makes one being revealed inconsequential. So, always switch when Monty is forced to reveal a goat.